Good morning, good day or good evening boys and girls. This is Solaride and this time I'm going to show you how you can draw a circle in DaVinci Resolve. Stay tuned. Now to get started I put a small video in here. Then uh, you make sure you're positioned in the timeline where you want to add your circle and then move on to the Fusion tab. Now that we are on the Fusion tab, we are going to add three different nodes. The first one is the Ellipse node. Then we are going to choose the Background node, which is on the far left. And then we have to add the Merging node, which you can find here. Now we have to get rid of all the connection lines, because we are going to reconnect all these nodes. You can get rid of them by clicking on the right part of the connection line, like this. Now we are going to rearrange all these connections. So the first thing we're gonna do is we connect the ellipse node to the background node. Like this. Then we are going to connect the media in node to the merge node. Maybe move it up here somewhere so that you can align it more easily. Then you're going to assign the merge out connector to the media out. And then you're going to connect the background to the merge. So now you can see you get a black circle here now. Okay, now we are going to change some settings of the ellipse. So select the node, make sure your inspector window is open and now for instance you can deselect the solid checkbox and uh, increase the border width so that we have a circle here now if you want to change the color of it select the background node and choose a color now of course you also can change the appearance and design of the circle Make sure the ellipse node is selected and now you can just drag and drop on various parts of the circle to change the size for instance or change it like this. You also can drag and drop it so that it changes the position. And of course all these things you can change in the property inspector as well. Okay, so now we can play back the video and you see there's a red circle here. However, uh, we probably do not want to appear the circle during the whole duration of the video. So we're going to change it. Uh, click on the background node and here you see the global in and out sliders. And now you can just drag the beginning and the end to the position where you want. It also reflects here, you know, and now if we play it back, we will see that only on the green part, the red circle is actually really visible. Once you're finished, you just can go back to the edit tab and play back. And you see, it's working perfectly. Well guys, if you like this video and the content of my channel, uh, please consider to subscribe to my channel. This would be very helpful. I wish you a nice day and goodbye.